This is a Beggy Sisa podcast. You must be brave if you want to get tested. There's a massive need in South Africa for primary health care. How do you improve health care and save money at the same time? One answer experts say is to make better use of patient data. Welcome to another edition of our podcast. I'm Mia Malan. Our reporter Gavin Fisher has visited a project on a farm where doctors have been trying to do just that. Use data to map the health needs of the area and as a result spend less money to address them. Masego Rachlaga is voicing this report. So can I do it to you? Mm-hmm. Okay. At a private health clinic on a farm in Delmas, east of Johannesburg, nurse Busumu Zizeta is performing a blood pressure test. He's done this hundreds of times before, but the technology he's using this time is different. The cuff on the patient's arm plays music and it's Bluetooth enabled. It's nice, eh? <laughs> it's very nice. Your, your patient loved it. Busumuzi holds up an electronic tablet computer. It displays and stores the results it received via Bluetooth. In everything, it's a pen like this. You can go to the scale, it will be like this. I can do a temperature, then it's going to be like this. I can do an ECG, then it's going to be like this. All these tests and many more are options with the health kit Busumuzi is using. The kit fits into a black box the size of a suitcase. Within minutes, a large range of tests can be performed. At the end results of all the process, the software tells you what steps should we take. So it's additional knowledge as well. You use your knowledge, then you use it, then you compare, then you can get a significant diagnosis. The data collected from patients doesn't just help to diagnose and treat patients. The information is fed into a live database. It's then used to map the health needs of a specific area. You must be brave if you want to get tested. It's not easy, but you must At be At the brave. Delmas Farm Clinic, Joseph has check. just finished a series of health checks. Especially when testing HIV. That's why I'm saying you must be brave. 100% I was worried. I was saying I'm not going to test it, but finally I did it. That's why I'm saying I'm relieved and happy because <laughs> uh, my result is negative. Joseph looks almost giddy with relief. While he was given the all clear, his data is fed into the database to start building a picture of the health needs of the local population. The fact that you can go beyond your facilities down to streets and blocks. Raymond and Campbell is a medical doctor and the CEO of Pulugisa Health Solutions. The company provides the health kit in the black box and manages the database that is built from patients' data. Pulugisa breaks down information into ways that government can't currently do. I can see, oh, in this area, that disease is growing, or there's a trend. The immediacy, the ability, the agility of government would improve. The Eastern Cape and some hospitals in Gauteng and the Northwest have asked Pulugisa to help them with the data collection. The company's health kits cost 20,000 rand each, but they provided free for six months. Currently, though, their reach is still very small. The patient database doesn't even reach into the thousands. At the Dalmas Clinic, Joseph is one of over 700 employees of Rossgrow Chicken Farm. Rossgrow is the company that set up the clinic on its land. In the busy, noisy packing warehouse, the company's machines box over a million eggs a day, ready for the shops. If this uh, machine's timing is out, you see eggs fly all over the place. No Dia Rousseau is one of four brothers who run the farm, but he hasn't always been a chicken farmer. Before that, he was a medical doctor. It gave him insight into the country's healthcare problems. There's a massive need in South Africa for primary health care. Our clinics are completely full, it's overflowing, government clinics, and it's not very efficient, it's not very effective. Nazir Ishmael from the National Institute for Communicable Diseases says people too often forget the importance of data. It's not something as tangible, as concrete as, you know, a nice a tablet or, you know, a nice flashcard that you give someone. 
Uh, and that's often the challenge with data in being able to appreciate its value. It's like a gold mine that really could save you a lot of money but also could direct your efforts more efficiently. The Dalmas Clinic is one small part of the new drive toward data. Ishmael says it's a great reminder of how important improving the end product is to people's lives. These smaller efforts are very useful at providing the evidence because it provides your node of surveillance in the community and can pick up things much quicker. But the longer term planning I'd, I'd say would be that these things should be migrated onto more universal platforms that are government-led. So I think the, the initiatives that are being done are fantastic because really it uh, but far more robust in accuracy and accountability, etc. So I think it's a balance of both, but fundamentally those initiatives need to move in a line. To Hi, my name is Sandy Mellon, and I've been using this new technology. gives you a lot of different tests in one package. And I was Sandy is not a Rosgro employee, but lives nearby. For 220 rand, he too can access the screenings done with Pulugisa's technology. He has been diagnosed with a liver condition. I don't feel well at the moment, but I've been here three times and my health has improved. Every clinic should have such an item to be able to do your heart. Sandy says he's happy if his data is used to build a better picture of the health needs in his area. In the end, he's just grateful to be able to afford health care that is helping him recover. His message for the staff at the clinic is clear. What an awesome job you're doing. I can't say anything more than that. And you are so thorough, and may God bless you. Sandy, a patient at a clinic on Rossgrow Farm in Delmas, east of Johannesburg, ending that report by Gavin Fisher. The story was voiced by Masecho Rachlacha, and the sound production was done by Danny Boyson. Until next time, I'm Mia Malan. This was a Pegasus podcast.